Hi, this is Mark Whitten, co-creator of Bloody Disgusting's The Hotel, and your lobby boy. For early access to ad-free episodes, monthly bonus episodes, and postcards, access to our behind-the-scenes podcast, We Made the Hotel, and to get your name in our guest book, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash the hotel. Thanks for listening. I see the faces of my staff, but they do not see me. I'm not here for them today. I don't let them see me. The hotel surrounds me. Large lobby with glass elevators and dark marble floors. I shift again, and it's a country townhome with doilies and dollies. Quaint. I shift again, and the hotel shows me something new. I see everything it reveals. I see lobby boys and managers stretched out before me in infinite variations and regressions. Cheap carpeting, expensive curtains, oak desks and plastic cups. The lobby boys take a thousand suitcases from a thousand guests upstairs and down hallways. Some of them slope and drool. Some are sharp and quick. They all have the same face, though. I see the guests smiling as they check in, shaking off umbrellas or drinking cold cups of coffee. Some think they've just pulled in off the highway, looking for a room for the night so they don't fall asleep on the road. Some think they're still in whatever town their work conference was at checking in for the week. None of them suspect the reality of their situation. They never notice anything. A sea of managers push endless guest books across countless counters. Some have ornate quill pens. Some have small golf pencils. The managers smile or make small talk, waiting to spring their traps. The hotel bends and twists, becoming whatever is needed, or whatever it wants, perhaps. Long rows of dingy rooms, impressive suites, neon signs that flicker and buzz. How I hate it here. I watch the guests inside their rooms. I see every room in each hotel, maybe the same hotel, viewed without the limits of linear time. I make mental notes for my report. The rooms in the hotel only look different to the guests. A bed, a bathroom, and some walls. That's all I ever see. But they see some rooms as fancy, and some cramped, before they start screaming and clawing at the walls, buried and bleeding. I see other faces, too. Faces that share no resemblance to mine, but with those same hard eyes I remember. They glower at the managers and sneer at the lobby boys. I'm not told more than I need to hear to do my job, and I do not know much more beyond that. I assume these angry faces must also be owners, each with their own hotels, each filing their own reports. Maybe I am replaceable. But for an instant, one of these faces looks into mine, and I know it sees me. I feel something like deja vu before I move on. Best not to dwell on the machinations of the powers that be. Best not to pull at any errant thread. This place is terrifying enough without unraveling it and peeking behind the frayed curtains. I shift again and again and again, 
checking every room of the hotel, whatever form it presents. Inside and out, it's filled with mundane trappings and deadly aesthetics. Soon it's flashing past me so quickly I can hardly see it. I can hear the desk bells ring and the guests shriek, but my audit is nearly finished. My report is almost done. All that's left is to return and file it. But there's that face again, the one I recognize myself in, walking down infinite hallways, looking into me. I don't know who this is, but he knows me. He's coming for me with a smile that cuts me in half. Before he's close enough to touch me, it's gone. Everything. I don't know if I shifted out or if the hotel finished showing me what I needed to see. But there's nothing left but me. It's time to file my report. The Hotel was created and produced by Travis McMaster and Mark Witten. Starring Kelly Ninaltowski as the manager. Mark Witten as the lobby boy. Graham Rowett as the owner. And Krista Lewis. Music by Lauren Picorni, West Rodri, and special guest composer Zach Tatum Drake. 